yes, that's right. This is the big tank. I have changed loads of stuff in it. It is pretty crazy. I've taken all the rocks out and I've just turned it into a community tank. And I've taken the four goldfish out and now I've moved in the sorority girls. I've moved in my guppies. I've moved in my molly, garami, my rainbow fish. Um, and I am going to clean the tank. Um, when I get my dechlorinator, which will probably be on Tuesday, I will also be getting some mollies then as well. Probably getting two normal mollies. Uh, it really depends. I think I'm going to go to my local fish store and serve pets at home now. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that's just a better idea. Um, but these guys are doing really well. I was going to get a few more guppy, but I don't think I am now. Um, yeah, I think... I'm not going to get any more guppies because I was only getting a guppy because I thought these guys might be a bit mean to her. No, no, she's fine. And as you guys know, um, this Molly here, I'm not Molly, guppy here, he is actually uh, deformed and he's got like a kink in, his, kink in his spine. I've just discovered this one's got a kink by his tail and this female's starting to go around a weird shape. So all my guppies are deformed, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, um, I got them from different pet shops. The female came from Pets at Home and the two males came from my local fish store. Which I did do a vlogging, a vlog in a couple of months back. I think it was one, I don't know. But yeah, and I hope you guys like the new setup. It's got all the plants so the sorority girls don't fight and they're doing really well. Vampire's in here as well. There is. Big Grammy is in here somewhere. I just noticed I always call him the Big Garami and never by his name, which is Blue Indy, if you guys didn't know. There he is. He's so cute. And sorry, I'm a bit shaky. I've just been doing loads of work on this tank and I'm a bit, like, energetic. I'm going to, like, a school fair today. And, yeah, and it's raining outside. Brilliant. So, yeah, and then these guys are so cute. The catfish are just hiding up there. They're not sure what's happening. They don't think they've got anywhere to hide, but I did take the helmet out of the Jilsa Clods tank and put it in here. So this guy's Jilsa Clods tank, actually. Their tank is looking very pretty, I think. I've taken out the helmet. I put this rock in there that was in the big big tank. There's like a cave in there for them to lay their eggs in. And there they are, and they're doing really well, and they're just so cute, and they think I'm going to feed them. Like, I am definitely going to clean tanks. I have a certain five tanks that I need to clean first. And I've just realised one of my female baiters might be... No, she's not crowned tail. She's just been nipped. She looks like she's crowned tail. Well, she's been nipped, if you look. Her is quite cool. Kind of look Um, talking of crowned tail, my crowned tail female baiter, wherever she is. I think she's over there somewhere. I can't see her. But she actually has, um, she's got all her tail growing back, so that's really good. There she is. Let's get her to come out. Right. And you guys probably think she's really stressed, but she always has stress stripes. Um, so there's her tail. You can't really see it, because she doesn't have very long, like, bits coming up. But she's definitely a crown tail. Um, she's really cute. She's going back there. She's quite an old female beta. She's not old, but I got her like, like th I think this was my second fish, beginning of the year. Wait, yeah, second fish beginning of the year, along with my double tail male beta, which was actually with the females because he was sold as a female. So I got him cheap. There's Brooklyn. She is really being cute today. She's going hiding behind the filter. She's swimming around, and she was annoying the catfish. She was chasing the clown roach. She's chasing the guppies. She's just so cute. There she is. It's going off. She is so sweet. I wish my uh, other half moon could be in here because Brooklyn is a half moon. But I wish my other half moon could be in here, but as you guys know, she is like the devil. She's crazy, aggressive, and she just wants to kill everyone in the world, and she is crazy. And yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this, this tank's looking really nice. There's the angelfish. Her fins are growing back really well. Um, from when Little Adventure did nip her fins up. 
Yeah, I know it's really upset you guys that Little Adventure did pass away, as you guys do know. And yeah, it was really upsetting to know that because, as you guys know, I did raise him from an egg because his mum tried to eat the fry pretty much. She tried to eat them and six survived and then Little Adventure ate the other five. And then, yeah, he just got, he just passed away because he was being silly and he was eating rocks all the time. Um, I don't know why, because he still ate his normal food, but he just started eating rocks. These girls are so similar, don't you guys think? The crown tail and my bell tail, they just look different. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this has algae on it from that tank, and I'm hoping some of the algae gets in it. Loads of people probably think, why would you want algae in your tank? Well... I want it because I want my pleco to have something to eat and my sandwich. And my dad really wants to get a bristle nose pleco for this tank, so yeah. Because he loves bristle nose plecos, and as you guys know, my first fish, which was a bristle nose pleco, passed away. And that was really sad, and I probably cried forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Um, but yeah, my dad really loves bristle nose, this is his favourite type of fish, and he wants to get one. So they sell tiny ones like this at Pets at Home, it's so cute. They sell ones that are a bit bigger. I'm either getting two, I think I'm getting two. I'm not sure. If I do get two, I want to get an Abina and a normal. I, don't, I think the normal ones at Pets at Home are about £8 or £9. And then the um, albinos are £8.50, I think, at my local fish shop. So, yeah, I think I'll get those. But it's crazy to think that this one is like... Eight pound, nine pound. When like I got my self in pleco, which are the ones that get over a foot long. I'm gonna just throw that one. Um, I think it's crazy because they sell those for like six pounds, five pounds, four pounds even. Because I think my one was five ninety nine, so pretty much six pounds. And um, wherever he is, I'm not sure. He might be in. Oh, he's hiding under the um. Small filter. I have two filters in here, and the third filter doesn't work. That's why I've got two in here, and they're not enough filtration for this tank. My, my dad's trying to get this one to work. It's my big fluval canister filter for this tank, but I am doing regular water changes when I can. Obviously, I've run out of dechlorinator because the last dechlorinator I got was a really bad one. It ran out really fast. So I'm gonna try and get tetra dechlorinator. I know you only have to put a few drops. I probably have to put like a quite a bit more than a few drops for this tank as it's 60 gallons. Quite a large tank. And my Garami is huge. I just he's beautiful when he's in warm water. And let's go and see on the goldfish. Goldfish and goldfish. The goldfish. They are doing well. I have the shabunkins in here where the um, mollies were. This is what I was gonna do the community tank, but I well, I was feeling a bit weird about the, um, these guys being in there. I just suddenly thought something's going to happen if I, do have, if I do have them in there. So I took them out, and my two shabunkins are in here. My two comets are in here. I just put the two shabunkins in here because this shabunkin, as you know, I got not too long ago. I think it was like last week. She, he, rather, is very small. And then this goldfish here is very friendly. And then the two comets get along really well. I didn't do it because they're like comets. Co comets? Comets and shabunkins. Like two shabunkins, two comets. Comets? I keep saying comets. Why? But, but yeah, um, there they are. They're still settling in. They only got in about 20 minutes ago. So they're pretty freaked out. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!